Were any of those minutes rest minutes or is it pretty much just grinding every minute? The uh, total bar bar muscle up was like active rest for me. It got done pretty quick. Um, and it was the least taxing of anything. Yeah. The rope climbs were done quick too, but it definitely got taxing on the grip. And with that cut rope, I can't bounce down and come right up because that rope is going to be very, very unsteady. So I needed to like make sure that when I came down, I had to come down more control that I'm more accustomed to, which is a little bit more taxing on the upper body. So That rope probably was moderate for you. 16 yeah, the cal. The ski would be tough, right? The ski is tough. Different game than the rower. You got to push it a little bit more on the ski. Like the same number of calories, right? Trying to hit 16 on the row. For 16 on the ski, it's much easier on the row. It takes a little bit more effort on the ski for sure. Um, but just know that you're gonna have two row climbs to get done. Get them done quickly so you get more rest before starting the next the next round. For you saying that the toes to bar round with the bar muscle up was a little bit of recovery, talk about like how you get your breath back, maybe especially taking advantage of how your whole torso opens up at the bottom of your toes to bar. How is it that you catch your breath? Yeah, so it's just that. It's every time the body swings forward on that arch motion of the swing, that's really going to be your opportunity to get a nice big breath of air in. Um, and then just keeping that nice steady flow. It's eight reps, so you're going to get nice big, eight big breaths of uh, airflow, oxygen flow in. And then on the bar muscle ups, if you need to, right, you can kind of pause and rest up there for a second before hitting that next rep. So there's definitely opportunities within that interval in that minute to uh, catch your breath and get recovered before starting the next one. What is it on you that you find holds the most tension when you're under fatigue and then you try to remind yourself some maybe physical cues to relax the body so you can breathe a little bit better? Uh, a lot of times I, I tend to hold tension in my upper body mostly, shoulders, traps. So I, if you watch closely when I'm uh, about to approach a movement or a lift or whatever it is, I usually take a really big breath of air in and try to like relax everything before I get into that movement just to kind of give my body a little bit more blood flow to those areas. A little bit more relaxed. Cool. Uh, overall, just like any overall tip on maybe pacing this for a 40 minute or a 32 or a 20, however our members are scaling it? Um, I would say on the machines, you want to have at bare minimum 10 seconds of rest so if you're doing that first round and you know, you know, 16 calories is going to be a lot for you, just pull it back a little bit, maybe go 13, 14, just to give yourself a little bit of time uh, to recover before those movements. Same thing on the pull-up bar. You want to try to be able to go unbroken from the toes to bar to the bar muscle-ups. So if maybe eight is a lot, maybe cut it down to four toe to bar and then maybe one or two bar muscle-ups. This way you do still get the skill work in of trying to connect those movements together just want to thank you guys for following along like subscribe tag us all that good stuff um, looking forward to seeing you guys out there we'll get after it all right Christian Harris here New York to Miami congrats you made it feel how you feeling right now a little tired long, Been a long day long so day. far yeah it's only 3 30 that, but, that but whoop, it's been a long day. That whoop watch you just looked at. <laughs> that, here we are at uh, the whoop display. About to get this going here. Here's Deb. She's the uh, uh, Chief Whitewood and uh, Christian Harris. We're about to make it happen. <laughs>